What's good, YouTube? I'm back again with another video. I appreciate the love and the subscribers, man. That means a lot to me. To the new viewers that's coming on to my page, don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe button to help the channel grow. I appreciate it. Much love. But yeah, man, I just got done working out, man. Health is wealth. I'm trying to get my body back together. So I try to do like three to four workouts out of the week because I work too. So, but yeah, man, I'm about to get straight into the topic. Uh, it's a video suggestion one of my subscribers want me to make. Uh, I done made kind of similar videos like this, but I'm, I guess I'm going to try to re, uh, redo it and be detailed about it. But but yeah, man, why why men or young men don't want to get married or they, they have multiple women? It's a, it's a thousand reasons why. Because for one, a man don't want to get his heart broken. For two, once he do get his heart broken, it's hard for him to trust again. And it's not necessarily saying that he don't want to deal with women. It's more like he don't want to be vulnerable again. Um, marriage, it's a big step, you know. Uh, Y'all basically coming together as one. And if a man has a foundation already built and this piece of paper say, hey, if she cheats on you or he cheats on you, whatever, she could take all your stuff. Half of your retirement, half of your 401k, half of whatever, your house, y'all buy a house together, she get the house, you get put on child support, you got to start all over while she gets all the jewels or whatever, especially if y'all got kids together. Like, it ain't no, it ain't rule for the men. And then men or rather deal with multiple women. Some, yeah, it's most, most men will deal with multiple women because they won't some 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 different it's a different vibe and you ain't got to put up with a woman bs not saying it's a bad thing but you ain't got to hear why where you at or why you didn't buy me this and you done bought this and you know where you at at you worried about if your woman out at night with the girls and you telling her you shouldn't be hanging out with this girl she bad for you or your mama her mama on some bs you ain't you know when you get married, you don't know what you're getting married into. You know, you would think you're marrying for that person. But, you know, one of my OGs told me, like, well, you got to you gotta really do your research, just not on that person, but the family and all, because you don't know what you're getting married into. You don't know what you're walking into, and you got people, you fighting the family, you got people talking cash money, because people can always talk cash money, but people talking their stuff, you got, you got, you got, you might have to move her brother in that just got out of jail, or you know, et cetera, et cetera. You putting up with all this stuff on top of her trauma from other men, and it's just too much. So it's easier said than done. It's rather it's it's easier to deal with multiple women. Focus on yourself. Get your body right. Do what you want and move how you want with a, without a headache. Yeah, of course, men want a family. You know, the fence and the dog and the and if you got a hamster or a motherfucking pet roach or with the with the kids running around, you know. Of course, some men want that. Of course, it's some men that's a one woman person and, you know, just want to be with that person and not deal with a headache of women. But, you know, like I said, it's easier said than done. You have different, you know, flavors of women and different personalities. And you can have one come over, cook. You can have the other one go on a date with you. You can have the other one travel with you and you're getting different experiences. So why not? Why why waste your time getting married when a lot of these women don't want to be wife? They want to be a hot girl. They want to have four, five, seven rosters just like because they think they're a man. And then they can do what a man can do. So if that's the case, why not just be free and do what you want? Especially young men. I always told young men, like, it's cool to go out and experience a relationship. It's, a good, it's good to experience women. It's good to learn about women because I love to study a woman. That's why I know so much about a woman, because I've been with women. I don't have my heart broken by women. I done cheated on women. The women done cheated on me. I done, you know, I, I done been through it all. Just trying to be with somebody. And the stuff men go through just trying to be with a woman is crazy. Men are so simple. We would take a pair of socks and a juicy burger with some liquor if you drink or just whatever. Women want their hair done, their nails done. They want to get taken out on trips. They want the house. They want this. They want the purse. They want the money. They want you to give them attention 24-7. They want you to listen to them. They, like, and then they want you to have a high-paying job. They want you to, like, come on, man. 
Come on, it's a lot on a man. We don't put expectations on a woman. We'll take a woman that's homeless over, you know, a woman taking a man homeless. They won't take a man on the streets that's homeless. They'll look at us like we bums, but we see a nice, pretty woman on the streets that's homeless or maybe decent looking, we're going to take her in. Maybe her kids too. He ain't, some women ain't going to do that unless you're a pretty boy and you got you packing and you, you know, you got it all. But nine times out of ten, some women ain't willing to put up with that. But, yeah, that's why a lot of men want, don't want to get married either, man. It comes with too much. And for a man to work his ass off, his ass off and to sacrifice that for a person to take it, ain't worth all of that. We could be in a relationship without a piece of paper. Because the way the system is set up is for a woman to, to, rule, to overrule all that. It's, it's her as if you if you mess up. What if she mess up? She still get the ticket. Like, what type of mess is that? It's nice to have multiple women and deal with women on when, when you want. Because at the end of the day, you could be like, man, I ain't on your stuff. Go home. Or you want some BS? All right, I'm on to the next. You know what? I'm about to go work out. I ain't got nobody talking my head off about some BS. I don't care about your family trauma. Your, your why, why your why your daddy wasn't there and all this. You try to listen to that stuff and then they cuss you out the next day. Like, hey, yeah, you don't know nothing about me. I was just trying to be there for you, but nobody didn't ask for your opinion. But why are you talking to me about it? Like, who wants to go through that headache? Shaq said it best. You don't tell your you don't tell women everything, because the moment you piss them off, they're gonna throw it in your face. They're going to throw it in your face, man. Women keep, like, foul cabinets in their head, man, when they get mad at you. Oh, yeah, you remember when uh you ran my rim over and you didn't fix it? Or, you know, you'd be like, what? What? Or, yeah, you remember when you was texting that girl and trying to show her? Or, no, I'm a, let me say this. Oh, you remember when that girl stopped you and she asked for directions and she was pretty and she said you... You know, you got a beautiful family. You didn't have to give her directions. You could have told her. You could have kept it pushing. They they want they men to walk out here and treat other women like crap and disrespect them because we together instead of helping a person. You know, my point is you don't tell women your di- your deepest, darkest secrets. So all you're doing is asking for a setup to get thrown in your face because they ain't your therapist, man. They women be like, oh, I, w- I would love to sit there and listen to my men and let rub his head. But the moment you piss, you you pissed off at him, he don't do something you don't like, it's all getting laid off the floor. The mama know, the sister know, the grandma know, and then they coming around, you coming around like, hey, what's going on, fam? They looking at you all crazy because you don't know she done told your business because she mad. Women can't control their emotions. But, you know, that's me just rambling on or whatever, giving y'all a little bit of, a little bit of game. Like I said, Shaq said it best. You don't tell, you, or tell a woman your deepest, darkest secrets. Don't tell her your problems. A lot of women want a strong, muscular Batman and Superman, but be quick to throw Batman, uh, throw Batman under the uh, quick to throw Batman under the bus, and you know give Superman kryptonite. As soon as he, uh, as soon as his woman get pissed off. But yeah, man, that's why a lot of women, a lot of men just rather just be free like a bird, man. Do what you want, say what you want, put up with what you want, have your own freedom, bring who you want in your house. Uh, it's a good filler. Yeah, it'd be nice to have somebody next to you to go through life with and, you know, when you down, have somebody help you straight, straight your way to your path when the world beating you down. But if you ain't doing nothing for me and I could do for myself what you here for. That's what a lot of men is just basically saying. Like, what are you here for? What is your point of coming into my life? Excuse me. What is your point of coming in my life, bringing all these problems when I got problems of my own? I'm giving you 100% and you only giving me 2% because you're entertaining other dudes looking for the next outlet with the next guy with more money when we supposed to be loving each other, trying to help uplift each other. But instead, you would rather go have 10 four rosters with a bag of money, and all these guys just want to smash. They don't want to love you. They just want to smash. And a lot of females know that. And that's another thing. A lot of females will use their body to make a man mad too. You know? They'll try to go off. Like a, a woman can walk outside and put her skirt up, and you somebody going to come running. A guy do that. A guy could run with his pants down 
and trip and fall. A woman can roll her skirt up and somebody going to be sliding right in it. It's easier said than done. Like I said, it's, it's better just to fo focus on yourself and be by yourself as a young man anyway. A lot of older cats know that too. A lot of older cats went through like multiple relationships and be burnt out like a, ain't got no tread left on a tire, man. Ain't got no tread left. And they, and they be trying to tell some of y'all young men to listen. Y'all got to listen, man. It's cool to get the experience. It's cool to get the knowledge. It's cool to, you know, learn. And it's cool to learn, you know, learn a woman. But don't go around being bitter towards women either. Because we, what they say, we can't live without them, and we can't live with them. <laughs> ain't, that a, ain't that the truth? You know, it's easier said than done once again. It, why put up with all that BS? When you can have Denisha, Brittany, Jenny, uh, uh, Brianna, you can have all these women. And as soon as I get on some BS, you be like, man, I ain't on this today. Hey, you been you ain't been texting me, man. I ain't on you today. Oh, you need some? You need your feet rubbed today? Of course, of course, come on. And then it's crazy because it be married women out here cheating, man. It be the married women tied down, right? As soon as they get get out of that get out of that relationship, they out here going hard, man. They going hard in the paint, man. You got the single young men smashing a 40, 45 year old woman that's been with her husband thirty years. And because her husband ain't putting it down no more, or he done, you know, something done went wrong, wrong, he done got prostate or something, and she ain't rocking with it, so she need another young man to blow her back out, you know. Uh, you got women that be in 15-year relationships and get out of it going hard in the paint. That's another reason why uh, men don't want to be married either. You got to really find a trustworthy person. To be with for a man to give you your heart give you his heart he really got to trust you man because some of these women is not worth trusting i didn't say it in my videos and i'm gonna save it say it again you save 40 percent of yourself and get 70 cents uh, to a person because you don't know what a person gonna wake up and think do or where they gonna go it happens every day and don't forget to hit that like share subscribe button too man it helps the channel grow but yeah man that's that's my input on it man that's why a lot of young men would rather remain single, rather have multiple women, and achieve their goals without distraction. Because women can be a distraction to a man. Love can make a man very vulnerable and weak. At the end of the day, women get mad and upset when they catch another man with an, I mean, you, yeah, you catch their men or catch a man with multiple women or with another woman. That's the only way to get a woman. No disrespect, women. I love you. But that's the only way to get another woman feeling insecure about herself even more with another pretty woman. Because at the end of the day, they got the same thing that you got. And at the end of the day, she's doing something either a little boy better or a little more than you. That's why some of these women get, get the game twisted. You may you may have multiple guys in your inbox validating you, make you call you beautiful. But at the end of the day, somebody wants you, you want your man. Somebody wants your man. Somebody down the street wants your man. Maybe that girl with the big booty at the gas station might like you, like your man, Challenger, and you don't, you ain't like it because he chose to get something nice for himself. Women be having a game twisted. That's why I tell men, and this could go for women too, but mainly this video for men. Leave forty percent for yourself, man. Some men would rather have a thousand percent for themselves. Some of these men just be like, man, I'm done with these women. Some of these men just like, I'm done with it. I ain't even worth the juice to squeeze, man. Why well, waste all this energy and time just for a person that don't want to, you know, give me the time back? Some women don't want to, you know, you like I said in my other videos, you take women out on dates, good dates, pay for everything, do everything right. You might even have a 12-inch 12, 12 dick. Still ain't good enough. Like, these women don't know what the hell they want. They don't understand and we need each other. You know, when your car get flat, Maybe your dad didn't just broke your. Maybe some women have a dad, and your dad just got out of the hospital. Why are you calling your dad for? When well, you can have a man right here. But like I said, that's my insight on it, man. Men is just rather do go their way when they, you know, put up with a woman on their terms, man. That's so he can build wealth and foundation for himself, especially when he, if a man come from a hard background of a messed up environment, man. Man be out here lonely, man. 
man be out here alone and when things hit rock bottom for him, ain't nobody there for him except God. He got God in himself, man. And when he chooses to bring a woman into his life, you're supposed to be there to nurture and be submissive. You're not perfect and y'all going to have, you know, predicaments in y'all relationship where ain't nothing going to be perfect. But I don't give you the right to go sleep around on a man that's trying to provide for you. A trying man is better than no man trying. And that's where some of these women get stuff twisted. But yeah, man, don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe button too. I appreciate it. Much love. Don't forget to share the video. If y'all got suggestions, drop it in the comments. Y'all can email me at hillreal uh, at 1996 uh, at gmail.com. I highly appreciate it. Much love. But yeah, man, I uh, appreciate the suggestion video. And if y'all got any more, drop it in the comments. And I'll try my best to, uh, you know, just, you know, put it in details as much as I can. Um, but yeah, man, that's my input on it, man. Uh, I'm out, man. Peace.